Cheech here with Fly Fish Food. On today's episode of How to Tie the Simplest uh, Stillwater Fly You Can, guess what? We're going to show you a damsel that uses one material, one wire, one hook, one bead for all you guys that criticize me about that. But at the end of the day, this is a really effective but really simple damsel fly. Okay, this is a very simple damsel fly nymph. Um, this one has a small tungsten bead on it. You know, obviously, you can make it as heavy as you want, but this is like a 2.3 or 2.5 bead, uh, size 12 hook. Um, this is a competition heavyweight from Fulling Mill. It's a great stillwater hook. I think the, the, the code's like 5115 or something, but don't quote me on that. All right, so all we're gonna do we're going to dress our hook a little bit. The first thing I'm going to tie in is some of this midge stretch lace. I think that's what it's called. But you can stretch it super, super thin. Anyway, I'm going to use this to rib the fly, and I'm just going to tie some of it in by the head. Oh, that's too much. I'll tie it in by the head. Maybe. Jeez, it's almost like Brigham's up here tying them on the struggle bus. There, tie it in by the head. And I'm going to wrap this down by, uh, and just leave it on the far side of the hook. So that's going to angle away from me, because when I wrap this, I'm going to wrap it over the top of, of uh, the marabou. I probably won't wrap the marabou quite as far down as I do the rib. But anyway, if you tie the rib in after the marabou, it can kind of... Uh, be hard to start the wrap. All right, so I've got this really cool fine black barred marabou from Hairline. So they have individually dyed these feathers and they're phenomenal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about, let's see, about this much off of it, about that much, grab those and pull all the tips together so we end up with something like this. And they're not all the same length and that's totally fine. So I'm just gonna moisten these a little bit for ease in tying. Um, and this is gonna be the tail on our damsel. So I want it to be about that long. So I'll just make like three or four turns all right in the same place, okay? Because from here, I'm gonna take those and I'm just gonna twist them in my fingers and we're gonna create like a little marabou rope. With the rope, I'm just going, oh, I gotta take my thread forward first. I'm just gonna wrap that all the way up with angled wraps. And once I get to the bead, catch it a little better than that. Just trim or cut it right off, or not cut it off, tie it off. And then I've got these uh, fancy scissors with really fine tips I can get in there and get the rest of it out there. Okay, so to, to make it more durable, because that's just straight marabou, even though twisting it together makes it very durable, I'm going to counter wrap um, this stretch ribbing through it, tie it off, and it kind of mats some of those materials down, but I can get in there with a wire brush and revive it a little bit. So I'm gonna pull that tight, trim it. It will suck back down underneath the bead, and then we'll put a healthy whip finish there. And now to finish the fly, I'll just get like a wire brush of some sort, and I will just brush that out. And you just want these little filaments to just kind of be picked out a little bit it adds quite a bit of movement to the fly as it's kind of sitting or swimming through the water. But anyway, that's a really, really simple damselfly that is super effective and really easy to tie. 